would like to introduce you to our 2024 Tri-State Antique Engine and Thresher Show Association Queen, Dorothy Chiverfield. I will turn the microphone over to Anna Johnson, Dorothy's daughter. Uh, niece. Niece. Great niece. Dorothy's great niece to read some information about Dorothy's life and her history here in Cheyenne County. So here's Anna Johnson, right? Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Dorothy Elaine Johnson was born March 14th of 1930 in the Northwest Corner Section 34 of the O.E. Smith Farm Home. Her parents, Harold and Velda Pyle Johnson, were renting at this time, but later moved to three different places until they made their final move in 1942 to a farm and a ranch set up what is known as the Big Timber Area in Porter S. Township, Section 12. This was half a mile south of a cliff that the Indians had ran buffalo over in order to kill them. Later, local farmers gathered their bones and were shipped by rail to make supplement for chicken feed. A long and hard work for minimum were paid. Before Highway 161 was established around 1953, was oiled and rebuilt, the dirt road went right through the yard of the Johnson home between the house and the barn. Her father, Harold, was a farmer slash rancher. He and Delta provided the necessities for their family from their Oh. 
one of the boys and one for the girls, and a small barn for the horses, and some feed the parents would provide. She attended Porter Country School, east side of Highway 161, around where the military encampment sign stands now, through seventh and eighth grade. After graduation from the eighth grade, she attended the Bird City Rural High School home of the Bird City Cardinals. While attending high school during bad weather, she and her brothers roomed at the poor house in town. This building is earlier years was the Cheyenne County Courthouse. She had met Clifford Chipperfield, who dropped out of school to join the Navy for two years and later graduated in 1947 from the Bird City Rural High School. She and her brothers babysat Dolores Gertrude, who joined the family later in 1947, their younger sister. Dorothy was employed at the bakery in Bitcoin, Nebraska, and later at the Smith Bakery in Bird City, Kansas. Dorothy Johnson and Clifford Chipperfield were married April 5th in 1949 at the Cheyenne County Courthouse in St. Francis, Kansas. Their daughter, Betty, was born in 1950 in Bitcoin, Nebraska, where they lived. Their son, Lyle, was born in Akron, Colorado in 1953. She and Clifford and the children lived in various locations, but always had employment. She even managed a restaurant in Lincoln before they moved to California in 1967, where she was employed by the United States Postal Service. Upon their return, Clifford and Kyle, I mean Lyle, <laughs> had an automotive repair shop in Bird City, Kansas, before retiring in 1990. Over the years, she enjoyed quilting, many beautiful quilts for herself, family, and quilted with the ladies at a quilting group through the churches in Bird City and Benjamin. A sad time came when their daughter Betty passed away in 2005. Presently, Dorothy and son Lyle share an apartment in Goodland, Kansas. She still enjoys a group of ladies weekly who eat out at different restaurants and also attends the 101-year-old Home Circle Club monthly in Bird City. The Johnson and Chipperfields are honored and deeply appreciative of our Aunt Dorothy being crowned our 2024 Thrasher Queen. We hope that you all enjoy the show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anna. That was a lovely write-up. And thank you for reading through all of that and giving us some history of Dorothy's life here in Cheyenne County. As Velda Wright places the sash on Dorothy, I will also introduce our 2023 Association Queen, Mrs. Barbara Waters, from here in Bird City. Barbara was crowned our Association Queen at this time last year, and she has served excellently during her year of reign as the Thresher Queen. As is tradition, I think she has a little scrapbook of uh, some pictures, and there will be a doll in building number eight with a dress made out of the same fabric that Barbara wore last year for her coronation. So congratulations again to this year's queen, Dorothy Chipperfield, and last year's queen, Barbara Waters.